Today, we will be talking about Aristotle, his life, and his values of virtue. We will be talking more about Aristotle, and we've definitely talked in the past about Aristotle. But today, I'm going to give a brief summary about his values of virtue and his life. Now, he was born in Stavro, a small town in northern Greece. And at when he was 17, he migrated to Athens to study at Plato's Academy. He studied there for 20 years until in 347 BCE, the Plato was assassinated. After that, when he was 37, he migrated to a island off the coast of Asia Minor, which is now called Anatolia. This island is called Assos. And the king was actually a friend of the philosopher Aristotle. However, when the king died, Aristotle had to move somewhere else. On the island of Assos, he met his first wife, Pythia, or Pythia, so. After that, he was invited by the king of Macedon to teach the son of the king of Macedon, named Alexander. Alexander? Macedon. Those two sound familiar together. Yes, I'm not kidding. That Alexander was soon to grow up and become Alexander the Great. However, now he was just a little teenager. He started, Aristotle started tutoring him from the age of 13. And it's very likely that the interaction was pretty short because we don't have much concrete evidence. Although many people obsess over the relation between a great conqueror and some awkward philosopher. He was tutored by Aristotle from the age of, of 13 to 15. After that, well, the thing is, there was a very important lesson that Aristotle taught Alexander. The lesson of virtue. We'll get to that later. In fact, we have some audience members that I would be willing to ask some questions to about virtue. Alright. So, after that, he moved to another island off the coast of Asia Minor. And then he moved back to Athens, but he saw the anti-Macedon sentiment there. Considering his connections to Macedon, and especially Alexander the Great, he said he, he knew he had to get out of there as soon as possible. So, he moved out of there immediately. After that, Aristotle finally died in 322 BCE, but not before writing two books, named The Republic and Ethics. Now, I'm going to tell, now, let's get back to the lessons that Aristotle taught Alexander the Great. The lessons of virtue. So, virtue. Well, usually, according to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, it basically means good. But what is virtue exactly? Can you tell me what is virtue? I can give you an example. For example, of I'm a teacher, right? Yes. So sometimes, uh, I, when I do proctor in the classroom, I, when I see my student cheating, mm -hmm. I get really angry and I mm -hmm. embarrass my student in public. And I think uh, that's a virtue because I don't want my student to do a legal thing. And I want to be virtue. I want to be virtue. Is that really a virtue or an overreaction? It's, uh, I mean, two wrongs don't make a right. The student should not have cheated and you should not have humiliated them like that. Maybe you should have invalidated, uh, invalidated their score or maybe told them to make it up. Or maybe send uh, uh, send a note home telling them to do it at home or something. Uh, you, you shouldn't embarrass them in front of the whole class for some small thing because they probably could not study. Okay, so I will I'll definitely consider this alternative. Thank you. All right. So now we have. Uh, now let me give you an example, the viewer of what a virtue might be. Say you're a, a driver on the road and on the sidewalk you see an old lady being taken hostage by some terrorists, but you don't see any police around. So, I mean, you have to take your chances. 
Virtue is not taking risks to become a human. Virtue is trying to do the best you can without risking yourself. So, if you are 100% sure you can take on the terrorists, like you have a weapon, like a rocket launcher or something, then, you, <clears throat> I mean, you the best virtue to do would be to try and save the woman and get the terrorists locked up or even beat it. However, what <clears throat> if you say you think you have a risk of becoming a victim as well, maybe like a 20 or 30% risk, you should probably stay away from the conflict because otherwise <clears throat> you're going to be part of this conflict too. And some, uh, and there's probably going to be nobody around to commit a virtue to save you as well. So the best decision to do in that case would be to maybe call the police and not interfere because otherwise you have a risk of being killed as well. So virtue is not doing nothing. But virtue is not risking your life for heroism either. So, that is the essential definition of virtue. So now, virtue and ethics are closely intertwined, but we're not going to talk about ethics right now, but maybe in a future video. Now, virtue is a very important subject because, I mean, it's the basis of what is right and what is wrong. But people criticize Aristotle for not being as brave as Socrates because Socrates was willing to be executed instead of fleeing. However, Aristotle fleed from Athens because he didn't want to be executed for not, for not only his beliefs, but his connections with the kingdom of Macedon. However, I support him in, I support him in this case. And second of all, I would also like to say that Aristotle gave a really important quote well, uh, before he fleed. He said, I do not want Athens to commit a sin against philosophy for a second time. Presumably the first sin that they committed was executing Socrates. 